we're here to watch a demonstration because there's a carjacking situation. So he's going to explain to us what it means and then uh, how long it takes your dog, to, uh, how, long it will, how long it will take to prepare your dog for a situation like this. So Kelvin, tell us what the carjacking thing is all about and then uh, what advantages does it give to the car owner or the dog owner or whatever it is? Okay, so this is a Rottweiler. Um, so this is a Rottweiler. Um, I love Rottweilers because of their bad instinct and how easy they are to work with. Naturally, you can Naturally, see yeah. Um, so this dog has been with us for 10 weeks. He's doing the personal protection program. Um, a dog like this, it's being trained to guard and protect its owner. That doesn't mean that the dog will not protect on its natural instinct. But this dog has been taught, when you watch the, when we do what we're about to do, you realize that the dog can be told to guard, he's going to bark, he can also be told to bite on command and then he's going to bark, bite. But a lot of problem that I've always had people say is that what if my dog bites and I want my dog to out? You also realize that with this dog, we also taught him the out command. Um, you realize that we say guard and then we say parking as well. Um, the parking basically means that my dog should bite. The out means that my dog should let go. So you want a balanced dog that will not just bite anyone, but you also want a dog that when you get tell it to out, he's going to out. So this is part of the things that we do in our 10 weeks program, which is a personal protection dog. Um, you want the dog to know, you want to get a dog that you know that if someone comes close to me, my dog is not going to like attack the person. Like Please, you can just, walk up just, to the car just, right let now. Let me just ca ca catch you now. Mm -hmm. um, from what you are saying, from my understanding, is that once the dog goes through this kind of training yeah. and I'm walking my dog, no one can get close to me. Not at all. Once the dog goes through this training, the dog has an on and off switch button. So we don't want a dog that is a nuisance to everyone. Correct. We don't that's even that's want a dog that people are scared to approach me. No, it's a personal protection dog. I should be able to take my dog anywhere and everywhere. So Does that mean the dog will be able to tell that the person coming to, to attack me or coming to cause harm to me? Okay. Will the dog be able to tell that? So my dog should be able to tell that. But as well, for example, we have friends that want to play rough with us. Like we see a friend for a long time, he wants to run and come and hug you. Oh yeah, like Frank. That doesn't mean that my dog should attack that person. That's why it's very important. So someone will say, I have a dog that's aggressive already. But what will happen if my dog is aggressive already? I cannot take it in the midst of my friends. I want a dog that, even though my dog knows how to bite, my dog knows that if I say this, you have to stop. If I haven't said that, you're not supposed to bite. Or you're not even supposed to back on my friend. That's why training is important because someone will say, I already have an aggressive dog already. But does your dog know how to control his natural temperament? And that what we, that's what we do. Okay. Listen, God. So then uh, we'll be doing more de de demos for you. So subscribe, like, and share the video. Mwah. Prince Brian, I need you to do something. This particular video.